Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass, and today I'm going to show you a different way to split your data up. In the previous tutorial, you can see here, I had um, subsetted the data using the traditional subset notation right here. And what I want to show you is a different way to do this. Thanks to a Eugene on uh, YouTube, he commented saying, hey, why don't you use initial split? So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to delete all this. We're gone. It's gone. It's still on the website, though. You can check it out. So we're going to start off with a new library called rsample. If you don't have it, again, click on install and type in rsample and hit install. Simple as that. So rsample. And then what we want to do is set the seed so we can reproduce this. Uh, I've also been told that you know, when you set your seed, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed to be reproducible to a point, but you cannot really fully, truly rely on it. So take that as you will, but for the most part, it, on my own computer, it does repro reproduce the results. Now, if I use it on somebody else's computer, it may be a different story. I'm not 100% sure, so I just wanted to share that knowledge with you. So what we're going to do is simply use the initial split to split the data. It's so simple. So we're going to call it um, um, car split. So we have both sets of data in this car split object. So get used to calling things objects. I'm used to object-oriented programming. So we just are literally going to do, uh, it's called initial split. And then you can set a proportion. You can see the little yellow pop-up. I'll zoom in on that. It says data and then proportion. And then you have all kinds of other uh, parameters that you can populate. But first we're going to say, hey, the data is equal to, and we're going to do, well, we'll just do our empty cars. I think we can do it right inside of there. And then we'll do proportion. See how proportion, it actually let us do, um, you know, math like three fourths or whatever like that. But you can also put in like a number like 0.8, you know, 80% split. So I'm going to run that. And now what you see in our object here, it's a list of four. You're like, whoa, 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 I have 32. Because we all know MT cars by now has 32 rows with 11 variables by heart. But again, this is just an object. So that object actually contains both the training and the test set for us. So it's simple. So if you want to do a training set, we can just simply say, hey, use the function training and bring in my car split. So car split contains both. If I do command enter or control enter on line eight, you'll see now I have a training observations of 26 and 11 variables. Pretty cool. And if you ever need the test set, you can just say test and set is equal to, and guess what? Uh, test and car split. So car split, the object will always contain both the training and the test set. You don't even, you don't even have to actually assign it to new variables if you're not gonna use them that way. But now you can see that I have six observations and 26 observations for the training set. So think about it, in machine learning, you're gonna always wanna split um, your data into multiple sets. Now how cool is it that you can keep both versions, the training and test set, embedded within this object called, well, the initial split. Whatever value is returned, whatever object is returned from initial split, you carry that with you everywhere. So you only have to move around the car split. Right? If you want to share this with somebody, send them the car split. It contains both training and test set. You can't screw it up. So that's it. It's a simple way to split up your data, and then you can use it, because again, we have training set and test set that are, have been extracted from that object using these um, helper functions, testing and training. Hope you enjoyed this very short one, but I think it's extremely useful, and thanks, Eugene, for bringing this point up. I appreciate it. See you in the next tutorial.